And here we are, my friends. Welcome to Death Stranding. I've been meaning to do a full playthrough of this game for a while now. And uh, today seems like as good a day as any to start this heavily cryptic, hugely symbolic story. I, I don't even know how to describe it. Um, created by Hideo Kojima, as pretty much anybody that knows me know how knows how much of a fan of Kojima-san I am. A uh, huge Metal Gear Solid fan. Grew up playing his games. Zone of Enders. Um, Police Knots. But yeah, no. Uh, let's start a brand new game. Uh, yeah. Fucking, we'll go normal. We'll go normal because we are, um, because we're making, we're making ourselves a fun little experience here with this, uh, with this game. I'm turning on the ducking, which means that audio will be brought down a little bit. I'll do, I'll do it like this. There, so it, the ratio is not going to be so huge. Oh yeah, uh, screen brightness, there. Birthday. There. 30th of July. So I don't know what this actually does in game. Pretty sure that if, you're, that if your birthday is within certain parameters, nothing really happens. You know, com compared to, like, being born in other dates. God, this shit's so fucking cool. Oh, that shit is so sick, man. Can you imagine? Can you imagine being strong-armed out of... Basically, the single most iconic cinematographic, like, cinematic game series of all time. Essentially, the series that initiated the idea of cinematic gameplay. Being strong-armed out of explosion. it. And then bang coming back with something like time this. And space. All right, let's watch. Once there was an explosion. A bang which set a planet spinning in that space. Ooh. Once there was an explosion, a bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion. So I'm pretty sure most of this stuff actually takes place in, like, Finland? It's a Scandinavian country that they use for the, for the mega scans. But... It's meant to be America, right? Like that's the, that's the whole point. There. So good. I'd say my one gripe with this opening before this moment right here is the fact that those first images were still pictures and not uh and not actually rendered like in engine it's a very non kojima in my opinion like here for example we got a full full rendering yeah, Guillermo del Toro is in this because they were working on uh, PT at the time. Or I should say, they had worked on PT, had it canceled from under them by Konami, and then, uh, and then decided, you know, left and started, and, and Kojima himself started working on Death Stranding. 
god, this is gonna this is gonna bring up all of my all of my controversial thoughts on Metal Gear Solid 5, isn't it? It's a game I should play here on here on my channel. The glasses are so silly. I I love just how like how Kojima's able to make super authentic stuff. You know, like, it's very silly, but he makes it so authentic. And then there's Time Fall, which is the rain that makes things age very rapidly. Which, you know, I don't understand why... Um, I, I don't understand yet. Why, why is it that um, whenever it's Time Fall that it causes things to age, but if you go into water and just walk around in the water, like, that that doesn't age things. You know, I suppose it's the phenomena of, uh, of rain itself. But I'm getting ahead of myself. If you've never played this game before, yeah, if you've never played this game before, it is weird as hell. I fully recommend you play it yourself before you watch this playthrough. Yeah, so as you can see, the, the, the animals are dying. Uh, yeah, so Timefall makes things age extremely rapidly. Uh, and our buddy Sam here... Our buddy Sam is wearing uh, special clothing and equipment, uh, special clothing and equipment that, um, that makes it so that he doesn't age super quickly. Yep. And I'm pretty sure the clothing he is wearing is like plastic. Because plastic takes a very long time to deteriorate. Oh, great. Fuck. I don't remember, but I think it's possible for us to come back here uh, and try to retrieve the. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Okay. I don't think I have my map yet. So I'll have to figure that out later. Whoa, what the... What was that? Alright, there we go. Uh, so, this game, the joke about this game is that it's a walking simulator. It's a lot more than that, but at its core, you're trying to figure out how to get from point A to point B. And this game has, like, balance mechanics. Uh, as you can see, these icons essentially mark how easy or how difficult it is to balance on those specific surfaces. So here, uh, when it's blue, it's easy. When it's yellow, it's a bit difficult. In red, it's like a warning that you might trip. All right. Uh, real quick, before anything... Okay, well, never mind. I was going to lower the volume, because even for me, it's a little bit too much. Norman Reedus. Yeah, so he wants to wait out the rain, because if he stays out in the rain, he ages very quickly. Uh... Or, and, and the packages that he has also age very quickly. Yeah, also, the handprints on them. Um, shit, man. Like, I, explaining Death Stranding is so hard. I, I understand certain concepts. I never really finished the... Never really finished the game myself. So, I plan on it here. Um, so I know there's these things called BTs, which are human, 
which are human spirits that if they eat they try to eat people if they eat people they cause an explosion and that explosion essentially uh, that, that explosion essentially kills anyone around it. Oh yeah, and they're invisible. So as you can see, the time fall is causing those plants to grow extremely quickly. But I believe that that speed of growth is specific to BTs. Also, her name is Fragile, I believe. I do find the glitter of it really funny. It's so sick. Like, I, you don't have to understand anything to see how sick this shit is. I love it. It's scary. It's scary. love the little detail of the sand being pushed uh, because of the the, the, the the claws on its hands. I love that. And also I believe uh, I believe they like bring about like extreme feelings of depression and extreme feelings of sadness and numbness and it's like it's intrinsically connected to the human experience. Oh yeah, look at that. You can see their shapes. It's very like it's very highbrow which I respect from Kojima um, it's highbrow and lowbrow at the same time they, they, there's so much silly stuff in it but that's what how Kojima does it it's this gone. this contrast of highbrow and lowbrow he doesn't like being touched bro to you so hard tears a chiral allergy like chirals. You have dooms. Like chirals is all the... the extinction factor. But I think you got me beat. What's your level? All these words mean nothing when you, you first play them. Right? No, but I can sense them. Level two, then. Okay. What are you doing here? Trying to stay dry. Same as you. Time falls let up. My name is Fragile. Oh yeah, and her her clothing, uh, her clothing reacts to the to the presence of the right? BTS as well. Some Porter Bridges. The man who delivers. Like Mads Mikkelsen is in this game too, and he he's got on record saying, "I don't understand anything that that's happening," but Kojima's cool, so I hang out with him. <laughs> you want it? 
cryptobiotes. They're good for you. A cryptobiote a day keeps the time fall away. Ew. <laughs> Wanna come work for me? Must be tough out here on your own. Yeah, I thought the Fragile Express had plenty of people. Plenty of traitors. Not much left of us now, save for a few honest folks. So they're all couriers. And on top of that. And, you know, people are all isolated now. Not much left of me either. Got soaked from neck to toe. And I can't help you with that. I make deliveries. That's all. This is Bridges Central Dispatch. Freelance contractor Sam Porter Bridges. Receiver is standing by for drop. Oh, yeah. Also, Fragile can do a funny. Headed into town. Watch yourself. Those things never stay gone for long. Do the funny, Fragile. Come on. The time for fast forwards whatever it touches. But it can't wash everything away. The past just won't let go. I'll see you around. Sam Porter Bridges. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah, so she can do the funny and teleport. Um, which I believe is a thing that the higher your level of dooms, which is your level of connection to the whole the death stranding, uh, the higher your connection with it, the higher your level and the more supernatural powers you get. Alright. Uh... So in this game, you gotta be careful. You gotta watch your step, because if you don't, you're asking for trouble. And sprinting is only, you know, you should only do it in very specific moments. Oh, this game is beautiful, man. Fucking love Kojima games. What I would give to work with that man as a voice actor. Uh, there. Let's make sure I don't trip and fall. Oh, there we have. Yeah, so Yoji Kinkawa-san is the character designer. He has been the character designer for Kojima games for a very long time. He did Police Nas. He did Zone Avengers. He did Metal Gear. I think he did every Metal Gear from beginning to end, including the spin-offs. Did he do the spin-offs? I don't know if he did Metal Gear Acid or Ghost Babble. Ghost Babble didn't really need much design, but, you know. Oh, there's a little delivery there. We can grab that one. You should be safe sprinting over here. I don't want to do it too much. I messed that up. Alright. Yeah, so as you see, you can trip, and if you don't, if you don't hold on to your stuff like this, you, uh, <laughs> you can trip and fall, and it damages the cargo, and that's no good. I wonder if I can head in through here. So 
All right, time to cross this. Whoa, 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 easy there. Yeah, so your character can trip, and that's a whole game mechanic. Um, I'll cross over here since there's a little respite in the middle there. It's definitely not for everyone, this game. But it's a very satisfying once he get, gets going. Which doesn't take too long. That's my boy Ludwig. Fucking love Ludwig Porcel, man. All right. Next thing I pick up, I can't put it on my back, otherwise I'm gonna start getting off balance. There. Oh yeah, uh, I meant to actually lower the volume a little bit. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, we'll go halfsies. Optimize for headphones. There. There we go. Okay, that's not... Not a lot different, but it's better. Oh, yeah, okay. I should have carried that on hand. Hi, booby. Hello, welcome. We're playing Norman Reedus and the Funky Fetus. Yeah, so if I let go here of R2, you're going to see that he he's going to start losing balance like that. And if I don't fix that, he's going to trip. And he'll cause all the items to uh, to be dropped, which damages the cargo and gets me less uh, less rewards when I get uh, when I get to my destination. There we go. Uh, sick. What took you so long? It's not like the legend to come in late. Had to wait out the storm. Lost Kojima it. has like a, a, a thing that he likes to do, which is making it the main character like a legend at something. Luckily, our goods are in perfect condition. But that's that's the way people perceive them. They're not actually fantastic at their job. They're just the way that people see them. Hell yeah, we get likes, baby. Oh hell yeah, look at that. Perfect fucking delivery. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Look how far we went. It shows our exact route too. White woman jump scare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, baby. S rank. Outstanding, boss. That's how you do it. I really want to play Metal Gear Solid 5, but I want to do it when I'm with you, Emmy. 
so we can play Metal Gear together. So I'm going to wait to do a Metal Gear series here on um, on Twitch and here on YouTube uh, for when we're together and we're able to do stuff together. I'm very excited for that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, baby! Uh, tr uh, a triple! <laughs> Sick. Alright. Yeah, so, the more, the better we do our deliveries, the better it is for, um, better it is for our to be given better missions and whatnot. Chiral Protocol Online. Now, for those of you who don't know what chiral means, chiral is a chemistry term. In fact, Emily here would be able to explain it better than I do, I believe. She, she knows more about chemistry than I do. But I believe chirals are uh, hydrocarbon, hydrocarbon chains that, when flipped around, they, are, uh, they become different. Like, when polarized, they become different types of chemical elements. And so... Saying that something is a chiral of one another, um, it's either a cis chain or a trans chain, which is really interesting. And cis and trans are just uh, mirror images of each other. And so, by utilizing chirals into the design of the game, it's ob you know, Kojima's obviously hinting at this idea of mirror images, and he does this a lot in the way he writes things, you know, solid and liquid snake. Skull face and venom snake, big boss and venom snake. Like he he loves the idea of mirror images. In fact, even the way he he writes dialogue for the Phantom Pain, you know, like um, you know the, the the way that oh they're making outer heaven, but they are demons. You know, like the, the, there's a lot of stuff like that, and also things are introduced to the player through mirror images, through mirrors or reflections of something else, which I, re I really think is an interesting... Um, which is an interesting literary device, or narrative device, I should say. So here we're dealing with a guy that killed himself, and here's the problem. When you die, if your body's not incinerated and cremated, you turn into a fucking BT. And if you turn into a BT, you're gonna try to eat a person. And if you try to eat a person, and succeed, you cause an explosion the size of a fucking nuclear nuclear blast. Close to town, can't do it. Yeah. So, oh, and BTs are are those invisible fuckers, and they're like huge and shit. Someone like you with dooms. That's so cool. It's so simple. Well, he's already in the first stages of necrosis. If we don't hurry, this place is a crater. So how about it? Can we count on you? Then Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Sam. Just Sam. Yeah, Sam has... And I can't spot BTs. Um, Just sends them. What the fuck is the name of it? Why we came prepared. He... Uh, human touch. A phobia of human touch. Phobia it's helping of you. human... We'll be able to stay one step ahead of them. A fit, half a phobia, intense overwhelming fear of being touched. Makes me feel like shit every time. Yeah. Well, you are plugging into the other side. Freaks me out. Don't ask me what fucking BBs are, because I don't understand yet. Roll out. I, we're I'm, we're gonna need to play this game properly before I can understand what BBs are. BB is what I call my girlfriend. <laughs> that was as much as I understood when I started playing this game. And I never finished, so I want to get to finishing this game. The world was different when I was a kid. Oh yeah, so if you watch the body as the, the cutscene progresses, it's starting to go necro. No need for there it is. Like yourself. Look at that. 
highways, airplanes. Hell, you could even visit other countries. Yeah, so it is a post-apocalyptic story where, to imagine because it. of the Death Stranding, you know, you can see people that can't that die, people, people are exploding and fucking creating craters, so America is splintered. Recognition. And it's a story about bringing, to bringing a country back together through contact, human interaction, and deliveries. This came out before the fucking corona. Uh, this came out before corona happened. So you can imagine folks how fucking insane it was for players to play this, and then suddenly the world becomes splintered. Yeah, so that thing is going necro. Son of a bitch. Rainbow! Yeah. How much further to the incinerator? This guy's about to pop. Shit. We're to cut to the BTs. Yeah, so shit, shit's about to go nuts. So good. Oh, 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 there's a strand. That is not good. Oh, it's so fucking cool. Oh man, like it's so harrowing. Like you have no fucking clue what's happening. I love it so much. Crabs. Everything becomes and returns to crab eventually. rough that guy's facing up with his uh his hood off i think that's bt blood specifically okay i don't know what the gold is oh no those are cairo crystals it's a Ky uh, kyrelium formation around his face don't ask me i don't know what it means Aging rapidly. Sam! Shut up. Don't even breathe. Oh. oh, that's so cool.
that's so fucking cool. Jeez. It's so fucked, man. It's so fucked. There he is! He is the Death Stranding! It's so good. God damn it, dude. Oh, I fucking love shit like this. Such a strong fucking opening to this game. And then we find him naked. On the beach. That's how I want to be. Naked on the beach. Naked on the beach. I don't know what that means either, so don't ask me. He's a maester of the Citadel. <laughs> And a bunch of dead whales. Oh, it's so cool, dude. Bridges. 
branches falling down my fair lady Pretty sure that's his sister, but also his mom. Because she's like a clone of herself. I don't know, man. It's... I... I, I don't understand it. This is freaky as hell. Oh yeah, so every time I die in this game, yeah, Sam is a repatriate, meaning that he can return to life from the place known as the seam when killed. In the seam, follow the strand to guide soul Sam's soul back to his body to bring him back. So... There we go. Yeah! That makes no sense whatsoever! <laughs> Hi, Matt Mickelson. I can hear you, Daddy. I mean, Matt Mickelson. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> I forgot he said it. I forgot he said that. Uh... <laughs> Oh, man. And so we're having visions with this dude. Uh, we don't know how he, we connect to him yet. I don't know how we connect to him. There it is. Hello, Cryptobiotes. Yeah, run away, you little rascals. Look at him. He's back to life, baby. And there it is. Yeah, so this is what happens. Like explosion. This is what happens. A bang which gave rise to life as we know it. And then came the next explosion. An explosion that will be our last. Yeah. It's a present tense prophecy, baby. Hi. Oh, yeah, it's called an Audra deck. Yeah. yeah. I love this game. It's so weird. It's so authentic to itself. It's artsy. It's, it's nuts. And it does not care. And I, I gotta respect that. I gotta respect that. I can't help but do it. Wake up, baby. I can break these cuffs. You can't break those cuffs. Episode 1, Brisket. Oh, you're awake. So, how does it feel? Here he comes. The world of the living. There he is. I'm a doctor. Well, a coroner, originally. <laughs> Call me Dead Man. <laughs> I'm well acquainted with the dead. Not like you, of course. Contrary to the name, 
I've never actually died. Yeah, so he's not voiced by Guillermo del Toro. He's just his uh, uh, was just his again. body and face. I'm no expert, but I can assure you it's for your own protection. See? So I'm a prisoner. These aren't handcuffs. They're cutting-edge devices that keep us all connected. Us? Oh, us. Yup. Bridges. Humanity's best hope for the future. Or avoiding extinction. Oh, I never noticed the huge scar he has across his head. Like the scalp scar. Watch me. Try pressing it against your skin. Like this. Relax. That just means your body's got a good connection to the cufflink. Look, look. The cuffs will watch over you 24 hours a day. That is to say, we will. We're here to help. What the hell? Two days. During that time, we took the liberty of collecting fluid samples from you. Dude, what type of You're fluids? Patriot. That makes you very special. What happened to the CD guys? Oh, they're dead. <laughs> Central Knot was obliterated in the annihilation. Game over, man. The place is a crater. The only ones to get it continue were you, for obvious reasons, and your bridge baby. Is it all right? That's what a BB is, bridge baby. Uh, it's been marked for disposal. Didn't work anymore. Why keep it? Uh, we lost everyone. Not just corpse disposal. My team. HQ, all of Redford, every soul in Central North City. We're at our base, in Capital North City now. Or should I say, our new headquarters. Sudbury seemed the logical choice. But our implementation team has been decimated. And there's only so much they can do in two days. Things here are a mess. Fortunately, the director and his support team were out of town at the time, so the chain of command remains intact. Nice. I don't know what any of that means. I hate to do this so soon, but I have a job for you. Okay. Huh. Uh, this stencil... Is from when you repatriated? Huh, what's the other mark from? A clingy woman in a cave. Huh. Mm, I see. Aphanfosomphobia. No wonder you were out there alone, where no one could tell Wait, you. what is that one? Hold I'll on. To be more careful. Because I saw hephophobia. So, Aphen... the job is an urgent delivery. Pause. Homophobia. I need you to bring yeah. the president some morphine. Okay, yeah, it's the same thing. What president? America's gone. You talking about the mayor of Central Knot? No, 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 no. Not the mayor. America lives on, Sam. The president is in the final stages of cancer. In critical condition. But there's still time. Why me? Look, Sam. Do as I ask, and I promise it will all make sense. Why don't you do it? She's not my mother. Because I'm not really here. <sighs> Apologies. This is just a chirogram. And here oh, come the tears. Allergic reaction to the chiral transmission. I'm actually over in the isolation ward in the big triangle building. Ah. Look like a cock and balls. Here, morphine. Bridges hereby enters into a contract with Sam Porter. Come on. You got morphine there. What's this about? Tell me the truth. Ah, the truth, Sam, 
is that America's last president wants to see you in person. Are you really about to say no? Well, you know who it is. Very good. I'll see you in the isolation ward. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, there it goes. God, look at all of it. All of this looks so cool. Ah, I love this. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying. Hey, oh, 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 hold on. All clear. There we go. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Thanks. Delivery order for Sam Porter Bridges. Request transport of morphine to isolation ward for immediate administration to the president. Hello. Check the map on your cufflinks if you're lost, Sam. Thanks. The isolation ward should be pretty obvious. Thank you, Guillermo del Toro. You can set markers and draw routes, too. Try it out and you'll see what I mean. Okay. Thanks. Uh... Yeah. Uh... Everything looks so cool! Sam, if you want to confirm you're headed the right way, check your compass. It'll never steer you wrong. Provided you have a destination, that is. I do like it because they it immediately tells you like, hey, uh not everything is gonna be straight like a straight route. Central wasn't just home. Just bridge. navigate a little bit. It was also the seat of the reconstructionist movement. If the president hadn't required special treatment, she would have never left. And if she hadn't, we wouldn't have either. Let's do it. Let's do it! <laughs> oh yeah, double jumping is a thing. Which means Sam Porter Bridges is bisexual. I've never in my life seen a place that turns on the lights like that. Like, from the entrance to the back, like, doosh, 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 doosh. Like, I wish, I wish, I wish that was a thing in real life. But it's not. It's fiction. Like I said, her vital signs are all trending the same way. No chance of a recovery, then? None that I can see. No. We should start making preparations. Sam! It's me, dead man. Sorry, my mistake. I'm afraid the president's condition has deteriorated. Thank you. This will help to ease the pain. She died. And allow her to speak with you in these final moments. Huh? Yeah. First and last female president of the United States. Surely you remember her. She raised you? You're not exactly dressed for a reunion. Take that off before you come inside. Yeah, so we find it we find out that it's his mom. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> Uh, 
that's super cool to me. And there we go. The Oval Office. And there's Die Hard Man. That's the president's right-hand man. The director of Bridges. Die Hard Man? Oh, you were with Bridges one? So, I guess no introductions are necessary. Yeah. What's it been, Sam? Ten years? Look at us. A bunch of deathless freaks meeting like this. Yeah, well, good to see you two. President's waiting. So all their clothing is like plastic, I believe. Unless you're really rich, at which point is like leather. It's your mother, Bridget. She's a bit out of it, but I know she'll recognize you. Madam President, we've brought Sam. <sighs> we'll leave you two alone. Amelie. Amelie? You remember Amelie went west. Took her three years to cross. She's trying to rebuild the country. Still going on about that, huh? You're the one I wanted to send, Sam. Time's running out. Help Amelie. She needs you. You can help us reconnect. You can make America whole. Sam, if we don't all come together again, humanity will not survive. The idea that a man, the country. a man with, you know, do. phobia of human contact, is tasked with finished. rebuilding America is nuts. Jack shit. Sam, listen to me. <laughs> you Sam I'll be waiting for you on the beach <gasps> Jesus Jesus the trauma of this man oh, no. the sheer trauma of having like a phobia of human contact and your mother needing you to just hold her one last time to die. The sheer 
like, oh my god, I can't even begin to... Ah! 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 <laughs> That shit, that shit really gets to me. That's rough. That is so rough. Be stranded with love. Listen. Oh, jeez. No one can know that the president is dead. If word gets out, Bridges is finished. Now, what happened here does not leave this room. Do you understand? Yes, Director. But there's still the matter of the body. Without corpse disposal. We've got that covered. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sam. Here, go carry your mother's body to the incinerator. Which I think is like a very symbolic pilgrimage. I like that. It's it's horrible, but it's such yeah. a powerful. Before she died, the president yeah. made a contract with you. What are you talking about? As a member of Bridges, you're gonna work with the rest of us to rebuild America. You think you can recruit me, like she tried to? Well, she succeeded. Look at your wrist. If that's not symbolic, I don't know what is. Director, the cancer spread throughout her entire body. Harvesting organs is out of the question, and there is no need for an autopsy. Her body needs to be cremated before she necrotizes. And if we don't, this place will turn into another crater. What do you want me to do? We don't have any porters right now. And the CD team you went into the field with are dead. I love Di Hardman's jacket. Has to be burned. The road from Capital I want it. City to the incinerator was compromised in the void out. Now, the only way there is on foot, through the mountains. But the chiral density there is off the chart. It's got to be BTs. This job has requirements, tombs, repatriate. So me, why? Sam, you're already on the clock. Now get it done. Sam Border Bridges. I'm pretty sure Sam, his name, Porter, his job, Bridges, his company. Right? Like, that's... That's how they explain their, uh... Their, like, titles. Right? Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Can you imagine just being told, like, Alright, well... Strap your mother's dead body to your back and go on a hike to deliver her. Can I have a moment? To the fucking incinerator. President Strand believed in American reconstructionism. She worked tirelessly to bring the nation together again. And without her, there would be no bridges. She deserves a funeral with full honors. But we can't give her that. If she dies, America dies. Without her, Bridges will cease to be. Listen. Her cremation must be carried out with the utmost secrecy. Even if we pull it off, what then? Who's gonna take her place? Face it. America's history. Sam, America isn't dead yet. He just said that it dies if Bridget dies. She may be lost to us. But we still have an America worthy of the presidency. Sorry, what? Let's not get into it now. What matters is that we're going to finish your mother's work and rebuild America as she intended. 
That's the reason bridges exist. Yeah, the bosses will. Take the first step, Sam, and deliver the president's body to the incinerator. If we don't all come together again, humanity will not survive. You're the one I wanted to send, Sam. Time's running out. I love you, Sam. I'll be waiting for you on the beach. The facilities to the southwest. Remember that you'll be passing through BT territory. We built the incinerator way up in the mountains so that the chiral matter in the smoke wouldn't reach the city. It won't be easy carrying a body up there. <sighs> you around the clock. If anything comes up, we'll offer you support by the couplings. Jeez. That's rough. So rough. Sam, this is Die Hartman. Dead men explain how to use the cuffs, right? Use them to check the location of the incinerator. Jesus, this poor man. Sam, I don't think I need to remind you, but every minute counts when transporting corpses. All right, so that's the incinerator. They got mountains there. Okay. So I'm guessing from here, there. Uh, okay. We can cross, make our way here. I'm hoping that we're able to make this. Who knows? Maybe that works. There's always the chance that we would have to go all the way around. But we'll see. 48 hours following cardiac arrest, they go necro and become a fresh PT to make our lives hell. This is gonna be difficult. You go work? Okay, sweetheart. I love you. President Bridget Strand was the symbol of American Reconstructionism. Even with the country shattered and its people scattered to the four winds, she never stopped believing they could be reunited. People held on to their hope that America would rise again. Because they believed Whoa. in her. What did I trip on? That this country can be rebuilt. America lives on, together with Bridget's undying spirit. Yeah, so be so because it's secret mission, I can't use these vehicles. So.
Could have been a lot worse. Oh, that's not good. Okay, okay. No, it's possible. It's possible. That's going to be dodgy, but I think we should be able to climb that. Come on. Alright. Oh, is there a pylon there? That'd be great. It's a... It's a rope. The rope should make it easier for us to get up. Now that I think about it, I should put my little guy on the other side. Woo! Like that. There we go. There. I'm pretty sure I can equip and unequip the, the glasses. Drink monster energy drink. And I can pee. Yeah, so peeing is a mechanic in this game. Alright. We're gonna use that rope and get our make our way up. Hell yeah, baby. Yeah, okay. Not up there. But up this. Can we? I don't even know if we can, but we'll try. Come on. Keep low. Uh, come on. Uh, uh, go, go, go. Ah, uh, there we go. Hell yeah. I'll take a second to drink. The fact that it's like, oh yeah, monster energy drink. It made its way into the apocalypse. <laughs> There. I mean, I don't know if that's the best way. Maybe up there, in that middle there. We could go around. That's also a, also a possibility. Underneath. So that's the place. Huh. I'll go over. Oh, she's starting to go necro. I can see the, the little thingies coming off of her. That's not good. But it is good because we've just arrived, so. I 
right, then let's get in there and get this done. There we go. Oh shit, rainbow. That shit ain't good. Carmelium density in the area is climbing rapidly. Heavy time fall is imminent. Get back here, now. Sam, burn the other cargo while you're there. BB-28. It's the unit Igor was assigned. It was hooked up to you when we found you in the crater. But why is it here? Because it's flagged for disposal. Central Knot's gone, and our headquarters along with it. Because that thing didn't do its job. It's all in Igor's logs. Hi, BB. But it's still alive. And it can't survive outside the pod. Pity it if you want, but the decision has been made. It has to go. The director approved the order. Whoa. That actually got me. That one didn't actually get me. I'm I'm a brave boy. Start with shit. Oh, maybe you are defective. 
Come on, baby, wake up! That's it. Do your thing. Oh, relax, it's just cream, baby. Oh, yeah, okay. So having the BB connected makes it easier for me to see the BTs. And I gotta be stealthy. Low. Move cautiously. Okay. Okay, this way. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Shit, 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 okay. Oh! Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh, I, I... Dude! Oh, fuck! God fucking damn it. Okay, hold on. Oh, shit fuck, bro. Alright, go. Oh, BB is not having a good time. Okay, there's there's my out. There's my out. Right through there. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. We're good. Most peaceful DoorDash trip. Yes. <laughs> you got it. You get it. Uh, all right. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. Hold on. My mom sent me a message. Uh, what is it? All right. Cool. How is Norma Reedus and his baby fetus? The funky fetus! Alright, let's drink some monster energy, baby. Let's get home. How is it? Uh, this game is a fucking masterpiece and it's fantastic. Ugh. I already did that, dude. Oh my god, it'll have me do it again. Okay. Alright, hold on. I got a key real quick. Give me a second. There we go. Ah, yes, it wouldn't be a Kojima game without out-of-nowhere product placement. Yes. Very true. Cool. You no longer need to urinate. 
Let's get going. I'll, I'll eat a crypto bio too. Why not? Although to be fair, being thrown out to dry by Konami doesn't help. Let's go. Wait, am I wearing the glasses? There we go. Nah, Kojima doesn't do it for the money. He advertises for the love of the game. Honestly, dude, it could go either way. I would believe anything. That man is a mystery. was a successful mission we burned our mama's corpse and I was only a little sad that's a lie this game hits me in places that I forgot I could even feel anything in Oh, geez. He just like me. <laughs> there we go. Much as I disagree with some of his gaming ethos and design choices, one thing Kojima is abundant in is integrity, and that I can respect a lot. Steve... Here's the thing, right? Kojima is one of the few game designers. One of the few artists that I would ever come close to agreeing with auteur theory. And if you know me as an artist, you know I despise auteur theory. Um, obviously, all of the Metal Gears are, are labors of love of all the teams involved and all the people involved, not just Kojima. That's obvious. However, it does not exist without him. Like, the, it is his creation. Scan. Scanning bridges. Um, Verifying ID. Clear. Thanks for that. Clear. So, welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. So the thing, like, I, I can't think of anything that I disagree when it comes to to about with Kojima, when it comes to, uh, when it comes to his games. I think. Every choice he makes is very specific, Sam. and his games are not for everyone. And Check the location making a game that isn't for as wide an audience as possible, I respect that, because he's not making it for the fans. He makes it for himself. He makes it to tell the things he wants to tell. You know, like, Metal Gear Solid Five, and and I, I talked about how this game is going to bring out my controversial opinions on Metal Gear Solid 5. MGS 5 is a complete game, as he has said multiple times, and in my opinion, it's, if not the best Metal Gear Solid game, the second best. It's a miracle either of you made it back. When because it's, it's, it's the game that has the most to say, it's the game that brings together all of the things that he always wanted for Metal Gear. And runs the risk of taking you to a so. From which you will not return. I'm sorry, but this BP has been pushed beyond its limits. This puzzle is the only option. Yeah, but Sam also has been pushed beyond his limits. And come to the president's office. 
We need to talk. This is Joe Biden's America. <laughs> This is this is Norman Reedus and the Funky Fetus. Oh, there he is. It's Daddy, Daddy Matt Mickelson. Don't worry. It's okay. I'll always be with you. See the sun. The day is ending. Let that yawn out. There's no pretending. I love this man so much. Aw. He has said multiple times, like, I have no idea what Death Stranding is about. But I love the vibes and I love Kojima and I'm here to get paid, baby. <laughs> I love Mads Mikkelsen so much, man. So fucking much. He is absolutely fantastic. Hell yeah! Give me that grade, baby. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh baby, a triple. Um, cool. Good mission. Very good mission. The beginning of this game is a bit unapproachable if you're not willing to buy into the fiction. Soldier Dooms and BBs were a dangerous combination. Huh, perhaps a shower is in order. You're still covered in chiralium. Don't want the president to see you like that. The hell are you talking about? She's dead. <sighs> you're upset. Is this about BB-28? Go fuck yourself. I'm not your errand boy. Well, in any event, it seems it owes you... You should play it again. You too. But you should take a... The the stance of analysis you should undertake for it is not... Give my regards to um, It's not as a game. You should approach it as a piece of art, which is what it is. And if you approach it like that, I firmly believe that you will see Metal Gear Solid 5 in a different light. The amount of people, like, it's gotten to, the amount of people that I've gotten to, like, revisit Metal Gear Solid 5 and go, holy shit, you changed the way that I see this game. Like, you recontextualized this game for me. Um, I want to say it's in the, it's in, like, 12, 13 people. It's almost time to go, Sam. It's dream time, baby. Here. It's a dream catcher. Wear it when you sleep, and I'll keep the nightmares away. And yes, it is Guillermo del Toro. I'll always be with you. I love him so much. Amelie. I do like Sam. I do like how his um there's a private room set his skin use. around the fucking take a moment to clean up like on his wrist I really am off uh, I love how it looks and his shoulders too uh okay and his shoulders too I like how his shoulders look because of the the stuff he carries shape of water was del Toro coming out as a furry changed my mind yeah it was his uh, shadow shadows over Innsmouth. He read it. And he was like, you know what? I get it. I get why they want to fuck him. <laughs> and I respect that. Blurry butt. Blurry booty. Jeez, look at that. Yeah. So those those scratches. For fuck's sake. 
Is it anything private anymore? Oh, uh, no. Except for taking a shower and going to the toilet, that is. I take it you were getting yourself cleaned up. Good. Come to the president's office as soon as you're done. She's waiting for you. <laughs> Isn't that anything private anymore? Uh, no, except for taking a shower. I was taking a shower. Oh. Well, I guess nothing is private anymore. <laughs> you did well, Sam. Thank you. Bridget may no longer be with us, but her legacy has a chance to live on. Sam, listen to me. America. Reconstructionism. Her dream isn't dead. I don't want to hear it. This is the face of our new hope. It's Die Hardman! Our new America. Homily. Oh, get it? Rainbow? My mother may be gone, but I'm here. And you, Sam? You're here, too. Kojima has a thing Since for you know each other, right? badly haired man. She hasn't aged a day. He knows why. My body's still on the beach. I don't get to grow older. But you do, Sam. You look good. So you're serious then about reconnecting everyone and everything? So she doesn't age, which means immortal president. Someone has to succeed Bridget, Sam. More importantly, someone has to carry on her legacy and see our country rebuilt. Samantha America Strand, our new president. A new beginning for our people, for our nation. Under Emily's leadership, we'll reestablish the UCA, the United Cities of America. This is how we'll rebuild our country. But we'll need your help to do it, Sam. I like the micro movements oh, in her eyes. With this. I said my goodbyes to all of you when I said them to Bridget. We never forgot about you, Sam. You ran away. You cut us off. Emily put together an expedition. The best of bridges won. Then went west. Oh, this is so fucking cool, dude. Look at that. Rebuilding our country one Uber Eats delivery at a time. The American dream! That's right, Jack. We're rebuilding America by delivering IHOP to people's homes. They searched for survivors. Never once missed a BT. Saw him coming a mile away. We convinced community after community to join the UCA, and we left behind our own people to help them. It took us three years, but we managed to make it all the way to Edgenault City. Los Angeles! Pacific. Jesus. Yeah, but then everything went to hell. The team was wiped out, and Emily was Captain taken. Captain Jack, a femboy hooters in every part of the world. This is the American dream. American imperialism through femboys. I'm not being kept in a cell. Or... What about goth? What about goth IHOP? What about goth IHOP? I won't let you do this, Senator. It's all to safeguard the continued independence of Edgenot City. Well, that's what her keepers are saying, at least. They want the UCA to leave him be. Emily's their insurance policy in case we don't. Who are these assholes again? Homo demons. Militant separatist group. They run Edgenot City. I've heard of them. Bunch of terrorists who go around towns killing people and leaving craters. Right. Nothing's off limits for them. Not even engineering void outs. You 
think the suicide that took out Central Knot was one of theirs? Could be. They're extremists like the demons everywhere, plotting in the shadows. They're decentralized by nature. No one organization to rule them all. Just a common ideology. I know not everyone shares our vision for the future. If we Americans don't come to Wait, but if they're keeping her hostage, how is Amelie communicating with them here? I carried my mother's message to people all across the country. But not everyone was willing to accept it. More than a few would rather stay isolated. Keep to themselves. Go it alone. Like you. Sam. And they should be allowed to do it. They think that America can only be rebuilt. No, by I mean, force, no. By men who tell them what to do, who take away their freedom and put them in shackles. Would you put on me, huh? You know better than the demons. Just another kind of cult. They're not shackles, Sam. They're a symbol of our bonds. He's right. That's what you we know. Right now. Like I get it. I get it. Trying to bring to people together is important. To but if people refuse, you so cannot force them to go west and finish what Emily started. The people she left behind have been hard at work setting up Cairo network terminals. But these terminals are still isolated. We need you to bring them online. And for that, you'll need a Cupid. This contains all the necessary security and operations protocols to integrate a terminal into the Cairo web. Take the Cupid West, Sam, and reconnect the people of our great nation. And when you get to Edgenot City, find Emily and bring her home. It's just... If it's... Like, if, if that, connecting to the Cairo network... ...and carry on Mother's work to save the country. This was Bridget's dying wish. If their fucking work is so good, we'll move you know, like, people will naturally want Please, to join. Sam. You just have to show it to them. You cannot force people to integrate into your country just because it used to exist. This outfit, you all saw to that. It goes back to being kings and emperors. Or anyone else. Like you, you don't get to fucking decide that something's like Wait. that something belongs to you just because it's de jour. If the people there don't accept your your rule, then see, it's like I'm not even here. Yeah, if you if if the people don't accept Sam. that your Sam. rule is de jour, then you're fucked. You your work as a leader should be to create an environment Hold where on. people are choosing Stop. to join in. Listen to me. America I mean, it's, needs to be fair, it is a post apocalypse, so a little use of force is reasonable. Cable didn't is it though? Those people are living their own lives in the post apocalypse. Part if you try to do it again, like round and round saying goes. that it's the the, the post apocalypse doesn't justify simple. doesn't justify right, hurting right, people. Sam. Just, just because they don't accept being a part of your you imperialist country. Now. Like Why it is it is America that failed them in the in the first place. We all need our sleep. Like that's the that's Either the thing. And you're liable to reconnect. What's happening here happened Necessary under America. Wanting to go back and rebuild America is folly. It it, it leaves it open to the same sort of devastation and failure. Why would you try to rebuild something that failed and put you in the position that you're in right now rather than just create something else? Let it evolve. Let the past die because the past is what caused it. The two of you have so I fucking love BB, Jesus Christ. One another. He's just forcing his nose into the thing. I love you, you little bridge baby. I love him so much. He's so cute. But... That's the whole thing with um, that's the whole thing with fucking Fallout New Vegas, right? The NCR is it better than Caesar's Legion? Ideologically and morally, yeah, sure. It's better. It's better to like actually integrate people into a democracy than it is to let them be slavers, you know, and and inter and forcibly integrate people through force. But the NCR also does that. They're still imperialists, right? So. Is it too much to expect that people will do the right thing and want to join if you show them that your existence can be peaceful and prosperous? Maybe. But that's also a very limited American view of things. Like, 
that's not how it works worldwide. That's not what human nature is. And so forcing people to reintegrate into something that caused the the, the breaking of everything, you know, like, you, why would people trust that? It's what got us here in the first place. No, 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 no. I have no pro Legion arc. If I have to choose between the NCR and the Legion, I will choose the NCR every time. However, the NCR is not perfect. Because the NCR aims to rebuild America, and America is what got the wasteland to be what it is in the first place. I'm stranded now, Sam. I know, I know, I know, but I know you're just yanking my crank. I just wanna, you know. I just wanna make it clear because it it it's such a New Vegas has such ingrained ideological patterns into it that I, I like being clear about it. I like being clear about it. But you know? But when it comes to Death Stranding, it's the same thing. Like, why would I want to return to something that caused the world to be what it is now? And saying that, oh, but this time it'll be different. Okay, then, but, but if you want it to be different, why are you trying to rebuild the same thing as before? Tell me we're not. You know, like, I, I, I don't like that. I, I personally wouldn't join, you know, if, if suddenly they send armed forces to my area, an area that I have developed myself with my family and the, 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 the inhabitants of that area. Like, why the fuck am I going to submit to them? Oh, but we want what's best for you. Okay, then leave us alone. We know what's best for us. Come right? So, but what if it was Sexy Norman Reedus? He doesn't want to be touched. <laughs> I can't give him a kiss if he doesn't want to be touched. And the only reason she's touching him here is because it's a dream. So I feel like he has less... Uh, a fever... A a fever phobia? I, I fucking... I, I looked it up. Uh, Hafi... Hafophobia. That's the name. He has severe hafophobia, so he's not able... He, he can't... He can't be touched by other people. And I'm not gonna force that on him. Wait! Huh. Yeah, huge F. Huge F's in the chat. Mads Mickelson, on the other hand, doesn't have that, which means I can give him a bunch of kisses. And grab him by his his beautiful face and just go, Mwah! and he'd be like, "Thank you, thank you, BB." <laughs> he'd call me BB and hold me onto his chest, and we'd go around fighting BTs. This game should have been about Max Mickelson. Sorry, Norman Reedus, I like Mads a lot better than you. All right. Sam, this is Die Hardman. You and Liv Sopman. Must have been beat. Private rooms come with all the basic amenities. Shower, toilet, etc. Drop in when you need to rest. Inspect your gear, review info, or whatever. <laughs> it's all good, man. Yeah. If you have any questions, feel free to ask our staff. But before you do, why not check things out for yourself? See how Bridges operates these days. Prepare to make the leave. Oh, he's doing the meme! <laughs> he's doing the BB meme. All right, uh, let's check on BB. Hello, my son. Sam, this is Deadman. I calibrated your BB based on physiological data we collected from you earlier. It's still just the best guess, though. After you take it out for a spin, we can check if you're in sync and tweak the BB sensitivity as needed. I love it. Okay. Hi, buddy. Hello, daddy. <laughs> BB looks happy. Good. As he should be. Uh, we have to check the equipment now, right? This case will remove any chiral matter still clinging to your suit. Oh, it's so cool. Speaking of suits, blue is for delivery personnel. Red for medical, orange for corpse disposal, and black for security. Sick. Uh, can I get the black one? Like, is that a thing I can do? Oh, no. For now, all I can do is do this. I'll do the navy blue. Cool. Um... Uh... Hey there. Believe we've met. 
I oversee delivery operations as well as maintenance and repairs. Nice to have you on board. I'm Mama, in case I didn't mention it before. Hi, Mama. Those there are strands. Not just used for packing, by the way, but for identification, too. Take a closer look and you'll see. See the red there? That's your blood. That's your blood. I like the red and the black better. Actually, I like all of them. They're all so cool. Alright. Uh, what next? Terminal, figures, sink. Uh, use the toilet. I sit when I go to the toilet. It's a lot more hygienic. Sam, Hartman here. Hartman? Such a devoted to uncovering the secrets of the beaches and the desert. <laughs> as well as oh, the that's beaches. really fucking funny. When you relieve yourself... I didn't realize that was a thing. ...is flushed from your system. Chiral matter can adversely affect hormone secretion and nervous function. That was very There's funny. A correlation between exposure and the development of phobias, as well as, in extreme cases, violent and suicidal impulses. Mm. Chirelium contamination has even been postulated as a trigger for the onset of dooms. Allow me to collect a sample of your excretions for my studies. They provide a non-invasive means to monitor your exposure to Chirelium and your overall health. Alright. Ah, you missed. Uh, you sink, take shower. Okay. All we got left is activate terminal. With that terminal there, you can browse the bridge's database, which has info on a range of subjects. You don't have clearance for everything, but there's still plenty you might find informative. You don't know that. Maybe he did wash his hands using the poopy water. Uh, alright. Orders. Nope. Got it. Tips. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, okay. Cool. Pretty sure I can leave the room now. Oh, there it is. Okay. I find it very funny that, like, once it goes into cutscenes, we go into 24 frames per second. Well, have you had a chance to think it over? Because he wants it to be <gasps> cinematic. Chock full of Chirelium, but safe for you Dooms guys to wear. That's all you'll need to go forth and reconnect the world. To make us whole again. I'm a porter. I don't care about connecting anything. Or making knots. But I'll do what I have to, to help Amelie out. That's sick. That's so cool. Listen up, Sam. The terminals Amelie's people built in the towns and cities they passed through on their journey west are called knots. The infrastructure's there, but the Cairo network is offline. Right now, it's only capable of transmitting voice communications, sometimes wired, sometimes wireless, and a small amount of data. So, unless the necessary data stored on site, our chirograms won't show up. Emily and the other Bridges members you've seen around the place are grams generated with local data. In case you didn't know. Anyway, all you've got to do is find the knot, connect your cupid, and bring Cairo communications online. Once Hell yeah. Connected to the terminal, you'll be able to initiate zero-time massive data transmission with the UCA network. And just like that, you'll reconnect us not only to each other, but to our past. All the lost and fragmented junk data will be compiled and restored. Must be so weird. 
Bring smelling your own blood, like, uh, like isolated. Four point six billion years of history on Earth. All the wisdom and knowledge we lost since the Death Stranding will be ours again, and that, my friend, is how we'll beat this thing. Once you establish Cairo Communications, generating grams won't be an issue. You'll also be able to use Cairo printers. It won't be long before we're able to send all kinds of things through the wire. Except anything original. Or that's got a soul. Nothing real. Just copies. True. Which is why we'll still need porters like you. Before and after we're made whole, we'll need men in the middle. No rest for the wicked, huh? Yeah, well, idle hands and all that. We'll give you the details at the dispatch terminal. Make sure you check it upstairs. Drop's waiting up there, too. These shoes look like they've done some serious miles. Shall I dispose of them? Wait. Hold on. There's something I want you to look into. My blood seemed to set those things off. Happened more than once. Set them off? How do you mean? I don't know. You took my blood, didn't you? You tell me. All right. I'll see what I can do. Hmm. It's interesting to me because, you know, coagulated blood goes necro. Does that not affect anything? Hello, baby. Daddy. Lisa. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. I promise. Baby. Baby. Can you hear me? Stay. All right. Oh, actually, I think I'm going to call it here. It has been two hours. Uh, yeah. Yak, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for hanging out. Emmy, thank you for stopping. I appreciate you. And uh, we'll continue the series. We'll do it later. All right, everybody. Have a good one. Take care.